Jason Tatum can lead uh, the Boston Celtics to an NBA Finals championship? Yes, I do believe Jason Tatum can lead the Boston Celtics to a championship. When you look at Jason Tatum as a player, I believe that he is a superstar. And Clarence, he is coming. This season, he's averaging 24 points per game on 45% shooting from the floor, seven rebounds per game, just three assists. And But he's led the Boston Celtics to the third seed in the Eastern Conference with a 43-21 and 21 overall record. Jason Tatum is coming quick, fast, and in a hurry. And you remember back in the 2018 Eastern Conference Finals. I remember when the Celtics were going up against LeBron James and the Cavaliers. Yeah. And Tatum had a play. I, I, I think it was a game. It might have, was a game five or game seven. I can't exactly remember. He had a play in one in, in one of those games in that Eastern Conference Finals where he dunked on LeBron James. And he did dunk yeah, on that. Yes, he dunked on LeBron James as if to let LeBron James know, yes, I'm coming. I'm coming, LeBron. I'm on my way. I'm on the come up. And I believe – I'm going to say something that, that, I, that I can't believe I'm saying this. And, and I am a Kyrie Irving fan. I love Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving obviously has a super uh, uh, NBA championship rather on his yep. resume, and he is one of the most gifted scorers we have in the NBA. He is so creative about, about being to create his own shot, and his ball handling skills are off the charts. Yeah, you know, what I'm taking I, believe, that. I believe that when Kyrie Irving left Boston, it helped Jason Tatum because I think Kyrie Irving took away some of Jason Tatum's scoring opportunities because he was so ball dominant. I think now that Jason Tatum is the leader and clear cut, the best player on the Boston Celtics, I believe we are going to see the best in Jason Tatum this playoffs. And I think the Boston Celtics, yes, I said it, the Boston Celtics will be coming out of the Eastern Conference. You stop that. They are going to beat Giannis. Stop. They are going to be Giannis and the Bucks in the Eastern Conference Finals. But let me let me say this. When it comes to Jason Tatum as a player, when we talk about Luca, we talk about Trey Young, we talk about John Morant, Zion Williamson. If I am picking a French, if I'm starting a franchise and I have to pick one of these young stars to start my franchise with, I am picking Jason Taylor. Are you serious over Luca? Over Luca Doncic, the guy that's averaging a triple double and 28 points on top of that. You're ridiculous, bro. You need to get drug tested like Bobo got drug tested because he was clowning the game in the scrimmage earlier. You need to get drug tested. No. Let me tell you, but before we do all that, everybody go follow Wise Guys on Facebook and Instagram, these guys know sports, and Twitter, Wise Guys underscore H. And don't forget to subscribe to our page on YouTube at Wise Guys, and we are here live on a Worldwide Sports Radio Network. Let me tell you something, Trey. I love Tatum. I love his scoring, his gifted scoring ability. I really do. I love the step back three. It just, I just feel like that's so pure that I watched them do that in high school at Duke and now in Boston. I truly believe he's a great scorer, but I just believe he's not a leader to the Boston Celtics team. I truly believe that, but he's part of the future. He's part of the future. He's you say he's not, a lead, he's not a leader? I, I feel like he's not. He doesn't take on leadership as well as, as like you would co compare him to some other players that are leadership to their team, the leaders to their team. But I just think for him, he's in a position right now that he wants to show everybody what he's capable of and what he brings to the table because he's more involved in the game. He He's averaging seven rebounds a game, so he's fighting for every rebound down there, second chance points. He's balling. I give you that. He's balling. But I'm not satisfied with the two, with the 2.9, with the 2.9 assists per game. I don't believe – I don't like that. I don't like that. And you saying he he's a good leader, he can lead his team to Celtics, but – First, he got to get his team involved. He got to get them involved in the game. But that's what, Kevin Walker's like, job, Clarence. What are you talking huh? about? That's Kevin Walker's job. He's the I mean, facilitator. At the same time, if, if you're building a franchise over him, you expect him. You should expect him to at least be a, con a contributor. Excuse me, a contributor. I, you, I feel like that. But Averaging three assists ain't a contributor? What are you talking about? Three assists? That, that's not I – hey, I feel like he could have raised the bar up more because – because Kemba, Kemba ain't played majority of the season. He took over. He took over half of the season, leading them with scoring, and he was rebounding good. And in the assist game, he there's enough weapons on that team that he can dish out the pass to. But man. what what you what you basically essentially saying is you want you expect Jason Tatum to be a playmaker. 
but I believe Jason Tatum is the ultimate scorer. Listen, Jason Tatum, he can get to the rim and finish around the rim. He can create opportunities for others. He can hit the perimeter shot. Also, he can even come in and hit the mid-range shot. He has no weaknesses offensively to his game. Yes, like he I, said, does. I think he's one. I think he is a great scorer. You want him to be a playmaker. That is Kimba Walker's job on this Celtics team. I don't think it's Jason Tatum's role. I think Jason Tatum's role is to put the ball in the bucket. And obviously this year, averaging 24 points per game on 45% shooting, he's doing just that. So I think you want him to be more like a playmaker, kind of like how LeBron is. And 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 like maybe how, I don't like there's other players that have won championships and they weren't playmakers. Kawhi Leonard isn't really a playmaker. Kevin Durant yeah, isn't, isn't, this. Kevin Durant isn't really a playmaker. Say it again. Uh, Kawhi Leonard actually he actually grew into that playmaker because he averaged in five assists over the season and last year he had he averaged almost five assists in the finals. So he was a be- definitely a playmaker. That might have been, but that might have been just an, an outlier season. What I'm saying is when I look at Ka- Kawhi Leonard and Kevin Durant, I don't look at Kawhi Leonard and Kevin Durant as being playmakers. I look at LeBron James as being a playmaker. I look at Chris Paul as being a playmaker. I mean, Russell Westbrook as well as being a playmaker. I've never looked at Kevin Durant or Kawhi Leonard as being playmakers, but they also are still players that you can win championships with, obviously. When I look at Jason Tatum, I think Jason Tatum is a great scorer, and I believe Kemba Walker is the playmaker on that Celtics team. I think you kind of you miss you misidentifying Jason Tatum's role a little bit. No, but at the same time, I can I can let me let me let me break this down to you. Let me break this down to you. I believe that Jason Tatum is gonna be head into that road that with Kate that can't head down that road that KD went down, you know, being a prolific scorer. And what's know, wrong with that? <laughs> look, look, the thing is, the thing is, if you don't I feel like you need to expand your game more. You need to expand your game more because you are already the 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 ultimate scorer on the team. If if if, te- if teams game plan against that, they go find ways to stop that. So it's it's gonna be sometimes game plan against it. What? How can you I, game plan against a superior score? If you can put the ball well, in the bucket, I want to call him you superior are a great scorer. player. I'm not huh? calling him a superior scorer just yet. I'm not calling him just but yet. Only, I know, but he's only in his third year, Clarence. He's only going to get better. What do you what do you mean? He's on, he's already averaging 24 points per game in his third I think he's in the third year. In his third season, he's only going to get better. What do you Kevin what? Durant? Kevin Durant at the age of 21 averaged 30 points. 30 points. You remember that he went on the 25 straight seat streak with at least 25 points. That boy averaged 30 points. He was we knew at at the time, man, this guy is gifted. This guy is the most gifted scorer, young scorer that we ever probably seen, bro. That we ever ever seen, bro. Like for Jason Tatum, I I just think that you can bring more out of him. It's more that can come out of him, not just scoring, but get his team involved. You can definitely bring that out of him. I I'm not he, saying he don't need to expand his. I'm not saying that. What I'm not I'm not disagreeing with you completely. I get where you're coming from, but what I'm saying is, the question was was can he lead the Boston Celtics to a championship? Basically, can he be that number one option? I think Jason Tatum can be a number one option and lead you to a championship, being a primary scoring option. I Over Kemba, huh? Over Kemba, the number one option. He made the number one option. What are you talking man, about? Man, look, I'm gonna now it's Jason Tatum. It, this is Jason Tatum's team. Man, the thing about Tatum, man, that if this is his team, he gonna have to expand the game more, man. I'm averaging three assists a game is not doing it, man. Not doing it, man. It's called roles. Every team has them. Listen, let's ask the next question on here. Can the Boston Celtics win the Eastern Conference this year? I already Hell, gave you my. I already kind of gave you my opinion. I'm gonna let you go. Go ahead. No, you 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 need to get that. You need to get drug test for that too, bro. You need to get drug oh, test for that too. I need all drug tests. The first game, the first game they play, it's against the Milwaukee Bucks. So you, you are, we are already getting a preview of the Eastern Conference Finals right then and there. I don't think no one on that team has no answer for Giannis, man. No one on that team has no answer for Giannis. And Giannis said, I'm going to game plan against the Celtics team because they don't want to run, outrun these boys and think that they're doing something, but, but fail to realize this man, Giannis, can guard, play both sides of the floor, man. And I think he's going to be a main. 
a main person that, that they go have their problems with. And I don't think Jason Tatum is not coming out the East, man. They're not coming out the East, man. Kimba, he never been in this situation before. He never been in this situation before. He got to play a role too. And I think he's going to choke in the, in the, in the, in the moment when, Hey, it's do or die, man. He do or die. I'm taking yeah. the buck. Coming out just the like, just like, just like Giannis choked last year in the Eastern Conference Finals. Yeah. We don't know what we gonna get out of Kim. No, don't say no. he's gonna choke. You don't. Don't do that, him. Don't do that to Kim. They smother Giannis, man. If you watch the game, Kawhi Leonard led Giannis to the basket, so Marcus on Serge Ibaka can clubber him in, man. And I think that was a brilliant idea of what they did because he, he at the time, he ain't had no good moves. He the only move he got was the Euro step, and that's about it. He had no other moves. Like I just truly, but I think this year is different and. Boston doesn't have no chance of winning the no Eastern. No chance? Game. Are you kidding me? Not if they if, if they're serious playing right if now. They're playing, if they're playing Milwaukee, if they're playing Milwaukee in the Eastern Conference Finals, I'm gonna say Milwaukee in five or six, man. Oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, man. you are so wrong here. Listen, yeah. I already <laughs> said it. I said it. I, I said it a long time ago that I believe the Boston Celtics will be representing the Eastern Conference in the NBA Finals. Let me ask you a question. If we if we are talking to starting, if we're doing a starting five and we're taking the best five players from the Boston Celtics and the and the Milwaukee Bucks and we combining them, three of those five players are Boston Celtics players. Right? Because yeah. I mean, okay, we got because after it's gonna be Giannis and Middleton. After that, it'll be Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, and Kimber Walker. So if we're taking the five best players from each team, the Celtics have three of the five best players. That's first thing. You second, forgot Bledsoe. Second thing, don't put, no, Eric Bledsoe ain't on that. He ain't in that conversation. He's not in that conversation yet. He's not, he's, he's not better than Kimber. He's not better than Kimber. But let, the, the second thing is, I like Marcus Smart as a defensive specialist. Marcus yeah. Smart can get stops on the perimeter. He's one of the best perimeter defenders we have in the NBA, just like Patrick Beverly for the Clippers. That's Marcus Smart role with the Boston Celtics. Listen, I think the Boston Celtics have what it takes to win the NBA championship. They got some young players on their team, Clarence, that are going to be hungry, and they're going to be ready to run in this NBA bubble once we get these playoffs going. Jalen Brown also is a player who I believe has a promising future. I like Jalen Brown as a player. Jalen Brown is nice as a two-guard. Like, he can create his own shot. Also, he can get to the rim and, and get to the free throw line, make his free throw shots. He can hit the perimeter shot. I like Jalen Brown. Play defense. He can play defense as well. The Boston Celtics are live. They are live. And I think you need to show some respect to the Boston Celtics. Like, I don't know why you believe that the Milwaukee Bucks are, are this, this team that can't be beat. Like, Milwaukee is, this ain't no, man, like, people are killing me with this. Like, I think it's laughable. I don't even think the Milwaukee Bucks are better than the Lakers or the Clippers, obviously, in the Western Conference. And when you look at the East, I think Milwaukee could be get beat in the second round, possibly. I really do. What? I don't yes, I don't Stop believe it, bro. in I don't believe in Stop. Milwaukee like I don't believe in Milwaukee like you do. I just don't. Stop it, bro. Stop it. You, nah, but you, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm taking you to the hospital because you're getting drug tested tonight. No, I'm, coming, man, I'm not I'm getting drug where you at, and we're going to the hospital, bro. Because this you're sound crazy. Milwaukee get bounced out the second round. Are yes. you kidding me? Now you don't think they can, you don't think they can lose? No, they're not gonna lose. They're going to the finals this year, man. What you don't hard, what's hard for that to understand, man? They're going wow. to the finals. Wow. They're definitely going to the finals, man. I don't see that. I, I think the, I, I got the studies coming out of the Eastern Conference. Clarence said he got the Bucks. And what, five? And five? I'm going to be honest. Six. Okay, now it's six. Okay. <laughs> now, you, now, you wanna, now you wanna say, now you wanna say six. And don't forget, one more thing, too. Coaching matters. And I know, and I said on the show the other day, Mike Budenholzer is one of the best coaches we have in the NBA. So I think, I, I, but I think Brad Stevens also is a great coach we have in the NBA. Brad Stevens, what? Oh, you not, you just say anything now. Now, you, now you just say anything. Brad Stevens is one of the best coaches we have in the NBA. 